For me, Barry is the best running back of all time. I got to, I got to give him my, I got to give him my number one. But I'm not alone. Most people, when we start arguing about this, when you say Barry Sanders' name, they say, "Yeah, man, we got to, we got to give it to Barry." Each of Barry Sanders' ten seasons was a masterpiece. He rushed for at least 1,100 yards every year he played, and six times was a first-team All-Pro. Barry's career average of 100 rushing yards per game is second all time, only to Jim Brown's 104. But statistics aren't how fans remember Sanders. Like any great artist, Barry's style defined his craft. In the arts, greatness means that you're able to develop your skills to raise our human beings level of, of, of consciousness and our, our, our horizon of aspiration to a higher level. We say, wow, we didn't know that could be done. Now you start talking about somebody like Barry, Whew. he has almost a, a Zen approach to it. Things you had never seen, that umpty umph, that thing you can't describe. It's an eloquence that's just I tried to perfect the skill of trying to make people miss. And a lot of plays were I'm doing something impulsive. I had to turn off uh, the brain in certain ways and just, you know, react. It's metaphysical, and that's where you are the thing. And when you become that thing, you don't have to think. Because it has transcended the figuring out things. It's transcended the I am doing this to just what we call the isness. You are here in this moment, and you are the living embodiment of that thing in action. you're on a higher level than if you think because the thought takes you away from the thing. And in music, it's the same way because if you're thinking and you're playing something, the, the, the second you stop playing what you're playing to think about what you're playing, you automatically are one step removed from the thing itself. Now we look at Barry as the ultimate improviser he's able to master his relationship to all those things in the context of time. There's no time, man. How much time you got between when the ball is snapped and somebody is tearing your head off? That's what makes him most like a jazz musician. And we're not getting hit physically like that. We're getting slapped with chord changes. But you run out of time. You can't play a note and say, let me get that note back. So it's like that, if Barry passes up one hole and he sees another gap and he goes the wrong way, he's gonna pay for it. But boy, when he hits pay dirt, he's just a virtuoso. For every thrill Sanders gave the audience, his most breathtaking move came when he walked off the stage, retiring at age 30, less than 1,500 yards short of the NFL's all-time rushing record. As significant as it was, um, you know, I felt like you have to play it for the love of it and for the sheer thrill of competition. Once that, that leaves, then I think, I think it's time to leave. The number one most elusive runner of all time, Barry Sanders. Number one. Probably the only running back I would pay to see play. Sometimes you just got to look to the heavens and say, wow. You almost had to stop what you were doing just to see what Bear's going to do because you know he was going to do something amazing. Oh, that is one of the great <laughs> runs you'll ever see, folks. That, that one is a highlight reel special. Bear's my new idol now. <laughs> um, I love the way the guy runs. When I, uh, when I uh, grow up, I want to run just like him. <laughs> turn off uh, the brain in certain ways and just, you know, react. 
it's not always where the play is designed. I was never the type of runner that could run straight through someone. I always had to find another way to get around them. Barry Sanders with a move that Mikhail Baryshnikov couldn't make. We know we got to tap for this guy. One guy we can't depend on, one guy to tap for this guy. Let's go! We got to corral that Barry Sanders. Well, there's a lot of... There was a lot of that that went on. Oh, man. I used to tell guys, defensive players, don't let this guy make you do the Lord's Prayer. The Lord's Prayer was, bear get in front of you, you try to make a tackle, and you clap your hands and you fall down your knees. Ah. <laughs> Not even trash talk could knock Barry off his game. Our number one most elusive runner averaged five yards per carry for his career. During his 2,000-yard season in 1997, he posted a record 14 consecutive 100-yard games. And the give to Barry Sanders. Come back over the middle of the 15, breaks a tackle of the 10. Barry to the 5. Barry in. Touchdown! He could freeze you and then beat you make you stop and while you were stopping to break down he was gone nobody could stop and start like that we felt the only way we could even simulate his movement at practice was to get a couple of chickens and have our 300 pound lineman try to corral him and chase him and box him in and corner him and cut him off for all his greatness Sanders was always criticized for two things, never winning a championship and running for the most negative yards in NFL history. There might have been a couple of minus three, minus five, minus two runs, but it's the Detroit Lions. And Sidney Crawford had too many birthmarks, I guess, too, right? I don't really hold that against him. They did not have an offensive line. These guys were like the worst offensive line in the world. He really never had a real offense. I mean, he was the guy, and he had to, you know, basically run for his life just to make a four-yard game. For 10 years, Sanders carried the Lions. By 1998, number 20 was closing in on Walter Payton's all-time rushing record. But then, without warning, Sanders retired. It takes everything in you, really, to be good at it. I think you have to play it for the love of it. Once that leaves, I think it's time to leave. I was within striking distance of the record. It's a great record to have, but to play only because of the record is something that I didn't have it in me to do. Whether you agree or disagree with his decision, there is one fact that you can't dispute. Barry Sanders is undoubtedly the number one elusive runner of all time. If you put the history of the great backs in a phone booth and said who could get out of this phone booth without getting tackled, Barry would be the guy. When we watch NFL films and we see the great runs of all time, most of them are Barry Sanders. He was just a one of those once in a generation kinds of players. Barry's number one Heisman winner in the NFL. Barry Sanders, number one. There are some guys who are great athletes, and just by being such a great athlete, they're going to be a phenomenal player at the college level. Very few of those guys are great enough athletes to be phenomenal at the pro level. Barry Sanders is one of those few guys. Barry Sanders, what a sight. I'd pay money to see Jim Brown, Earl Campbell, and Barry Sanders play football, and they're the only three. And I think I'd put Sanders at the top of that list. What a run by Barry Sanders. He is something. I'm not so sure that he would be the greatest Heisman Trophy uh, winner to ever play in the NFL because he didn't win in the NFL. The one really damning statistic in Barry's career is minus one yard against Green Bay after the 1994 season. I can't defend that. It's a guy not getting it done on the most important stage. What's the status of Barry yeah. Minus 10. I figure he'll go below 10. He'll be minus 20 by the end of the day. Heisman winners have a wow factor, and nobody had more wow than Barry Sanders. 
elusive doesn't begin to tell you what this guy can do. What an incredible run by the best back in the National Football League. Barry was like bobbing for apples with your hands tied behind your back, reaching over there like this. And they couldn't get him. He was like a greased pig. Barry Sanders with a move that Miguel Barishnikov couldn't make. The play where he spun Harlan Barnett into the ground for the Patriots is still the single greatest play I've ever seen. He didn't know which way he was going, and I'm not even sure Barry knew which way he was going. Barry Sanders turned around a defensive back about three times. Wow. There hasn't been a second Barry Sanders. There probably never will be. Some NFL players are stars, but only Barry Sanders left stars starstruck. I had the honor of playing with him for a year. It was my rookie year. And I just remember my first time in the huddle, you know, with him looking at Barry and he's like, wow, I can't believe I'm sitting in the huddle. I remember, um, you know, we broke the huddle. I said, hut. I turn around and I realized that it's Barry Sanders. So I pitched the ball and I just stood there. Wow. I just, I just pitched the ball to Barry Sanders, and the coach is ripping me. You need to boot out. You have the defensive end to contain, and I'm like, coach, but that's Barry Sanders. <laughs> Barry Sanders should absolutely be number one on this list. 15,000 rushing yards, 109 touchdowns, and a 2,000-yard season made Barry Sanders the easy choice for the best Heisman winner in the NFL. Forget about just being one of the most dynamic running backs and talented running backs in the history of the NFL. He was one of the greatest players, period. He, to me, embodies incredible talent. He could do things as a runner in college and in the NFL that no other player could do. Only Barry Sanders. Anytime the ball was in his hand, you didn't want to miss it. You did not want to miss what he could do. I'd have paid pretty close to any price to see Barry Sanders play the game. He's the greatest running back in the National Football League today, and it's one of the greatest played against him in college and the NFL. I don't think there's any doubt that he should be number one. He should be number one, probably. He's not. Yeah, oh, good. Good, you guys got it right. You got it right. Barry cut back, and he's got it.